Hey everyone, Mitch from Able Cine here with a lens I've actually shown you before. This is the Canon 30 to 105 lightweight zoom lens, a T2.8. Uh, it comes in PL mount as well as Canon EF uh, EOS mount. Um, this uh, lens uh, has, covers Super 35, but it also is a 32 millimeter image circle, so it covers the Red 5K and the uh, Alexa 4x3 and the Phantom Flex full sensor, all those things. It covers it really well. Really like this lens, really terrific mechanically and optically, just very impressed. But I'm not here to show you that one today. I've already shown it to you. I have the sister lens the Canon 15.5 to 47. Looks just like it, right? Well, this lens, also T2.8, also compact and lightweight, also shares other important traits like 300 degrees of focus scale rotation, which is terrific. You got all these marks to really show you where you are on the range as well as even on the zoom, you have a lot of marks and uh, other little traits that they really worked hard to try and make these comfortable lenses to use the scales for focus and zoom and the iris are slanted. And that means that not only for an AC, looking at the marks can see in them re really well, but also frankly, these are lightweight zoom lenses that imagine you're gonna be handheld with running around. The operator, if you need to be a one man band, turn, I can see all the marks. Really convenient to use them that way. 114 millimeter front, standard size, pretty much everything seems to be going to that size these days. Uh, for compact, lightweight map boxes that you can run around with. But also, to go one step further, the lenses both take the same size screw-in filter right on the front. So if you even need to eliminate the map box, you can really get small and still be able to use a filter right on the front of your lens. Other nifty things about the design of these lenses, if I take the two of them, hold them up, you can see that the scales, the, the, the uh, gears, all line up exactly with one another so that if I need to switch between the two in the course of the shoot, I don't have to reset my follow focus or any, if I have motors on stuff, they all line up perfectly. And that just means I can work quicker and I have to think about it and just keep rolling along. That's what it's all about really. And between the two of them, it's a great match set. Optically, they match beautifully. They have a terrific contrast and uh, from corner to corner, from the center, to the corners, the brightness, chromatic aberration, other qualities that we look for, just resolving power. They're very, very good looking lenses. We're quite impressed with them. Uh, but you get from 15.5 all the way up to 105. That's quite a range to have in such small, lightweight glass at a T2.8, just two lenses to cover all that range. And you also have a really nice overlap between them because so often when you have one lens just barely come up to this length and then it starts the next one. It's nice to be able to zoom through that a little bit. It's nice to be able to have a little overlap in your range. Well, this one gets up to 47 and this one gets all the way down to 30 millimeters. So between them, that 30 to uh, 47 range is overlap. So that's a nice comfortable zone because that's right in the middle of the meat of your zoom range, if you will, right in your medium uh, lens. It makes for a very effective, usable tool. And uh, we're just really happy with the way these lenses look and perform and the way they're built. So it's all very solid work from Canon, very impressed with it. So the 30 to 105 is available now in both PL and EF mounts. As well, coming very soon is the Canon 15.5 to 47 T2.8 on both of them. Again, both in PL or Canon EF mounts available from Able Cine.